How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Luke and in this video we're going to be discussing Nintendo's absolute disregard for both your rights as a consumer and the law itself when it comes to false advertising. Now a bit of context on this one, I put out a video a couple of weeks ago on a game called Cop Car Police Simulator Chase in which I played the game and came to the conclusion that it was actually completely different to what was advertised on the eShop. In this video I also provided evidence for these claims by showing that the eShop screenshots were mock-ups created using completely different sets of assets from the one used in the game and the eShop's description also advertised a bunch of features not present in the game and after releasing the video it actually came to light that the description had been copied and pasted from two other similar titles available on Steam. Now if you want to know more about this you can find the video linked below, but the long and short of it is that Nintendo was selling a game whose eShop screenshots and description were in no way representative of the product that you actually get, and I'm no expert in the fields of do's and don'ts for marketing, but surely this must in some way constitute as a blatant act of false advertising. I mean, imagine going to McDonald's and ordering a cheeseburger but ending up with a packet of carrot sticks or buying a digital album of your favourite artist and receiving a copy of Barney's Greatest Hits the early years and then being told that you couldn't get a refund for a product that you clearly didn't request. Well, this is essentially what Nintendo have done in this instance. Of course, these are examples of physical products and when it comes to digital products, things are a little different. Now after creating the video I immediately tried to request a refund and submit a report about the game, but the only way to actually do this is by going through the predefined support form, and after nearly about a 3 week wait, today they eventually responded, of course informing me that they couldn't issue a refund. Now the reasons for rejecting my request for a refund was down to me losing the right to cancel, or as they put it, and I quote, were we supplied digital content not on a tangible medium? The cancellation right expires if we've begun our supply of the digital content after you've expressively consented that we can begin the supply before the cancellation period ends. Now as confusing as this sounds, what it essentially means is that for digital downloads, customers need to waive their cancellation rights, meaning that once the customer downloads the content, by all intent and purposes, they've actually given up their rights for a refund. Now setting this aside, regardless of whether or not I wavered my right to cancel by purchasing a digital product, either on or off a tangible medium, because clearly the Nintendo Switch is not tangible, the fact remains that the product being advertised and sold was not the product that I received. Now taking a look at what the UK government says about marketing and advertising laws, in the first instance we see that all marketing and advertising must be an accurate description of the product or service, which it clearly wasn't, and they also throw in the words truthful and honest, which again the eShop listing for this game wasn't. Chapter 3 of the Consumer Rights Act 2015 also states that under your statutory rights, digital content should be as described and of satisfactory quality that the digital content should match the description of it given by the trader to the consumer, which in this instance it clearly doesn't. Now I have no idea if Nintendo's get out clause about me wavering my rights to cancellation removes all liability or responsibility from them to ensure that products being sold on their eShop are as described, but surely I can't be the only one that thinks this is an absolute disgrace, that a customer in good faith can buy a digital product from them, but as you've seen in this example, that product doesn't even have to match what the customer thought they were paying for. After responding to the refund rejection email and stating for a second time that the game being sold was not what I received and that I wanted to launch a complaint about the issue, I wasn't given any information on how I might go about doing this and instead was told to contact the developer or publisher directly to ask if they were aware of the issue and planning to release a patch for it. Now the game in question is currently still on sale on the eShop and it's had no changes to make its listing more accurate. But the sad thing is that this is not the only example of false advertising on the eShop, and there have been several other games using high definition PC screenshots for the listings, but this is the first time that I've found a game whose screenshots and description are completely false. So now I guess the question is, why should you care, and what if anything can we do about this issue? Well it's a well known fact that the eShop is a cesspit of shovelware and asset flips, and while I'm already fighting an ongoing battle to make people aware of these issues, most of these low quality games are easy to avoid. 
but the fact that developers are now getting away with using fake screenshots and descriptions for the games is extremely worrying, as it calls into question the legitimacy of any of the eShop's games. When it comes to what we can actually do about it as a consumer, it seems like very little. As I've already said before and as you've seen from the customer service emails, Nintendo clearly have no regard for the customers, the quality or legitimacy of the products that they're selling, and in their eyes are basically untouchable. And I'm sure that there are plenty of people watching this video right now who still think the sun shines out of their ass and that all the things that I've mentioned are not actually an issue because they only bought a Switch for the latest Mario War Pokemon games. But equally there are people out there that do give a shit about this type of thing and I think that the only way that we're ever going to see a change is if enough people kick up a fuss about it. But even then I have my doubts as to whether this would actually make any difference whatsoever. Regardless of this though, I'll just keep making my little videos and that way there's a chance that I might reach at least a few people. Now, if you're as outraged as I am about the stuff that I've mentioned in this video, then please feel free to share it and get the word out, especially if you've got a bigger pedestal or a louder voice than me. Make sure to hit that like button to feed that YouTube algorithm so that more people see this video. Drop your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below, and if you watch and enjoy my content, then consider subscribing to the channel. For now though, I just want to thank you all once again for watching and listening to me, and until next time, take care of yourselves and game on.